The crypto market is crashing though today, and we have a little bit of an overview of why that is happening. Now, yesterday we talked about kind of why it was happening, which was essentially the FOMC's reports, but we didn't actually get a, a an interest rate hike. So it's kind of interesting that that hasn't come into play yet, and we're already starting to see the market react. Now, this could be similar to what happened previously, where we were expecting a 100 BPS hike, and the crypto market took a dip and then we had a 75 BPS hike and then they went ahead and the crypto market returned a little bit and recovered. It could be just a quick cyclical repeat of what happened just here recently. But, you know, what they're saying, you know, pretty much falls in line with this. Just when investors thought that the markets were in recovery mode, the markets gave out a reality check. The cryptocurrency market is crashing today as leading cryptos are down double digits. There's still fear and panic as most of the cryptos shed the gains they generated last week. The crypto markets have continually been trading one step forward and two steps back in 2022. And today's crash is no different. Bitcoin plummeted near 8% on Friday while Ethereum is down 5% and is expected to head south further. In the last 24 hours, $550 million worth of cryptocurrencies have been liquidated from the markets. The overall crypto market cap is down nearly 7% and is standing at $1.09 trillion. The liquidation numbers are expected to fall further as Bitcoin is down on a downward spiral. But why is this happening? The markets reacted to the FOMC meeting minutes as reports state that the Fed plans more interest hikes to tame inflation. The U.S. Central Bank has not explicitly revealed the upcoming interest rate heights, hikes publicly. However, the minutes meeting suggests the policymakers are committed to raising the interest rates again. Now, once again, though, we were kind of expecting this. Like I said, after we read the or after we had the CPI report, it was clear that what they were going to do was at minimum a 50 BPS hike. We were expecting a minimum of 75, but then they kind of uh, quelled some, I guess, worry surrounding that by saying it would more than likely be 50 BPS. I'm thinking it'll probably be that 50 and then we'll see a slight recovery of the crypto market, but it's not financial advice and I don't really know because I didn't really expect personally this to actually affect the market as much as it did, seeing that it's mostly rumor and nothing has actually been implemented at this point. So the policymakers agreed that inflation rates did not subsidize despite their previous attempts to tame inflation. Participants agreed that there was little evidence to date that inflation pressures were subsiding. Therefore, there are higher chances that the feds might increase interest rates again in September. The decision will be confirmed in the next minutes meeting on September 20th and 21st. It is reported that the feds plan to double the rate of balance sheet shrinkage in September. However, the report is not confirmed until the feds announce the next interest rate hike. The FOMC meeting was held on Wednesday and the markets lost their cool after the release of the minutes. The cryptocurrency markets are crashing today. Here's what the FOMC meeting minutes read. Members agreed that in, ass uh, in assessing the appropriate stance of monetary policy, they would continue to monitor the implications of incoming information for the economic outlook and that they would be prepared to adjust the stance of monetary policy as appropriate in the events that risks emerged that could impede the attainment of the committee's goals. I think overall, in general, we're going to head into a downturn. That hasn't really changed. I think that 2023 will be one of the roughest years that we've seen in quite some time. I thought, you know, we would have a little bit more recovery going into midterm elections. That could still be true, of course, in September, depending on, you know, what they decide to do with raising the interest rates and how high they raise them. And if they get that in line to tamper down inflation uh, just before the midterm elections to hopefully influence voters to vote in the way that they hope that they will vote, uh, whichever way you know, the policymakers decide that they want them to vote, right? But that could not be 
or that could end up not being the case if we continue to see greater like macro macroeconomic influences like you know whatever the war in Russia and Ukraine uh, everything going on with China and Taiwan and even just China in general with the shutdown of a lot of manufacturing because of the summer. A lot of this stuff could influence it and make it to make it basically impossible for them to, uh, I guess, manipulate the market for the midterms, uh, for lack of a better term there. Thanks for checking out this clip from the Crypto Mining Show. You can check out the full episode here or more crypto content down here. Also, I'd like you to check out my locals page at sonofatech.locals.com where you can become a member for free or choose to be a $5 a month supporter that unlocks additional content.